And what I really wanted to do was to take a moment to reiterate the thanks to everybody that has made this evening so special, the speakers, the artists, and take a moment to acknowledge the important place in our community that Rosalie Barnes and Will Chase have played as producers and your MCs tonight. They came to us and said, there are so many stories that have to be told. We need a night to share our stories. And you were right. One of the things that I think came through a lot is that Larry was a natural bridge builder and he brought people together that didn't even like one another. He could swindle us to do anything. I had a dream about Larry and I just wanted to close with that and then just bring things full circle. But I had this dream and I wrote this when I woke up. Larry was the wick at the center of a candle that attracted and grew strange. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna start again. Larry was the wick at the center of a candle that attracted and grew its own wax and unexpectedly sprouted illuminated branches with strange protrusions that sent roots out into places we didn't even know existed or we had to deal with. And he inspired a global network of similarly illuminated trees and forests, each with their own brightly lit branches, protrusions, root systems, and languages all communicating. As I tell you this now, these trees and forests of light are transmogrifying and sprouting wings and chandeliers and moving through the world with dusty suitcases and incubators, moving and rotating around the globe with millions of facets and crystals, magnifying and refracting a glorious light of being and birthing entirely new forms. I can tell you with complete certainty, Larry Harvey did not want to die. He wanted to see what would happen next. In fact, I remember Larry saying once that after everything that you all and that he had done to have Burning Man survive, that dying would be an insult. Larry, you got insulted. It happens to the best of us. I think what Larry would want to leave us with is kind of what we already had. Our community and relationships with one another. And he would want us to take this thing forward. And so in the spirit of storytelling, I have to say that the next chapter, you all get to write. We get to experience it together. We even get to make it up. And along those lines, Larry's hat is metaphorically, poetically, and in reality, all of your hat. Why don't you try it on and wear it with style? Throw that hat around! Put it on, see how it feels, make it your own. We are gonna write the next chapter together. Thank you, Larry.